to my channel and here we are going to solve this problem as we are told that we should convert uh, the orthographic uh, views here to isometric and looking at these orthographic views we are given uh, these views in third angle projection meaning that this is the front elevation this is the plan and this is the end elevation so with all that we are given here um, let's see the dimensions uh, for the plan distance from year to year is uh, 110 millimeters and looking at the front elevation we have that distance from year to year is 20 from year to year is 20 from year to year is 20 and coming to the end elevation we have that distance from year to year is 20 from year to year is 20 from year to year is 20 then we have that distance from year to year is also 20 and uh, from here down here to this line is 20 millimeters and from year to year is 20 millimeters so then uh this is uh, a question that uh it belong and the reason why i want to work on this is that they may bring it back okay so that's why i want to work on it and then in the front elevation the lowest point x is not indicated so i'm going to take this point as the lowest point lowest point x okay so this is the lowest point all right so this is the lowest point here okay then this point also i will take it as the lowest point in the plan and then um now there's another thing that i want to let you know here so this is the right end elevation know that in the third angle projection the right end elevation is always placed on the right side of the front elevation if it is the left side left end elevation it will be placed on the left end or left side of the front elevation so let's see how this construction can be done then we'll come back after we have done it analyze what we have gotten so just follow me to do this work all right so the first thing that we need to do when it comes to conversion of orthography view into isometric view is that we draw horizontal line so i will draw the horizontal line just a short horizontal line here so then with my 30 degree cell square i'm going to draw a line in this direction so i will draw a line in this direction okay then uh with the same 30 degree cell square i'm going to draw a line in this direction okay so which means that this point here is my lowest point x so we need to indicate it now the next thing that i'm going to do is that i will draw a short vertical line here at this point so or uh, i'll make it long because of what i want to produce so i make it long like this now what i want to do is that i want to form a cuboid with length 110 millimeters and then the height of the cuboid will be uh 60 millimeter that is 20 plus 20 plus 20 that's 60 millimeters and the width will also be 60 millimeters based on what we are giving here this is the end elevation okay so i will take a measurement of 60 millimeters along this line so 60 millimeters along this line this is 60 millimeters then on this i will take a measurement of 60 millimeters then coming here i will take a measurement of 110 millimeters so this is 110 millimeters here all right so at this point we are going to draw a vertical line on each of this point so we we'll draw a vertical line here and coming here also so we we'll draw a vertical line at this point so this is the vertical line so now so i need to transfer this point to this end here so here i will draw so this line in this direction so then i will transfer this so transfer it here like this so then i'm going to transfer this as i said that i want to construct a cuboid so from that cuboid i bring out the shape of the object so i'll draw this line in this direction then for this one so i need to make sure uh, this line touch each other okay so then i can transfer this one here to the other side all right so now so from this as i said that i'm going to bring out the shape of the object so let's start and look at what we have now 
So what I need to do, I want to bring out this rectangle that we have here, so we should be on this side. And this time from here to here is 60, is 20. So I'm going to take a measurement of 20 millimeters. So 20 millimeters on this line, this is 20 millimeters. So this 20 millimeters, I will transfer it. So I'll transfer it. So I'll transfer it here. Like this. So I brought out that rectangle. So then, um, coming to the front elevation, we have this shape in the front elevation. We have this shape in the front elevation. Apart from this one, we have this shape in the front elevation. So let's bring it out. We have it along this side. So what I need to do is that I need to uh, draw this line. I need to draw it to this side. Okay. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is that, um, so... I need to get the distance from here to here as we have it in the plan we have to bring out this shape out here on this surface in the plan on this surface here i have to bring it out so distance from here to here is equal to 60 millimeters if you add these 20 20 20 millimeters together so i'll just take 60, 60 millimeters here so taking a measurement of 60 millimeters from this end to this point here okay then I'm going to join this point together. So I will join these two points together. So that shape that we have in the plan has come out. That is what we have here. So that is what gives us this shape here. This particular this point. Okay. So then we can go on and bring out this uh, shape as we have in the front elevation. So what I need to do now is that I will draw a vertical line at this point to bring out that shape of the front elevation so we have what we have this like this okay so now the next thing that i'm going to do is that we need to bring out these rectangles that we have here so not rectangle but it looks like okay, okay with this bent so we need to bring them out so which means we also need to produce a line like this up here so what i will just do is that i'm going to join this point together, like these two points, I'm going to join them together like this. Okay, so I believe you can see what I have done. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we need to bring out this shape, this shape, and this shape. Now, then here we have that distance from uh, looking at what we have here. So we see the distance from here to here on the end elevation, so the elevation, elevation that we are going to have it, and it's 20, 20, 20. So what I'm going to do is that you cannot take it along this line. It will not work. So what you need to do is that, so come to this end here and take 20, 20, 20. So from this end, so here I have 20 millimeters. So this is 20 millimeters. So the rest is 20 millimeters. So then I'm going to transfer it. So I will transfer them. Okay, so I'll transfer them here like this okay then also i will transfer this here like this okay so then this point so i bring out I will, I will take down a vertical line from this point okay so from this point also i will take down a vertical line okay so these vertical lines that are drawn so we need to bring out this shape that we see on the end elevation and this eye is going to look on the front elevation where we are looking at in this direction so distance from here to here is 20 so i will take a distance of 20 millimeters down from this point 20 millimeters so this is 20 millimeters here at this point okay so then i will come here also and take 20 millimeters this is 20 millimeters here so i'm going to use my uh, black pen so to produce that line so um so we join this together from here to here okay then another thing that we have here is that uh, i will also make this line a thick line okay we also make this line a thick line also this line here I'm going to make it a thick line okay so this line here from here down so we make it a thick line and this line so we also make this a thick line 
you come here so this line will make it a thick line you are not done so i'm just trying to do this so we produce those lines there all right so then this thing is a cut so we need to make sure we show that it's a cut so you can't just leave it like this so what we need to do is that so we draw a line so from this point so we draw from here to here okay so and it goes like this okay so it's supposed to go into this so then and coming to this point here at this point we are going to draw a vertical line so we drop a vertical line here like this so this is what makes the work to be a completed work so what we just need to do now is to bring out the shape so making this with thick lines okay so i pause the video and do that when i'm done you will see how it will look all right so this is the object as we're asked to do it so uh, let's analyze what we have here so uh for the front elevation which we have here so we have this shape like this so this is what we have here and then this shape that we have here so that looks like this so it's giving us this shape that we have here so that's it then for the uh, top view which is the plan so we have this shape here like this this shape that we have here so we have it here in the middle here and this shape here is here and then so this shape that we have here so it's what we have here then coming to the end elevation this rectangle is here and this shape that we have here is this shape so as i said that uh, this this end elevation is the right end elevation as it is in third angle projection it will be drawn on the right side of the front elevation so this is the isometric view that we ask to produce it's as simple as i've done it here thank you and god bless you